Antibiotic resistant infection is thought to be a problem looming in the future, but actually what I've realised and what others need to realise is it's happening now. It's already happening and I know that because of the patients that I speak to who are suffering with resistant bacterial infections. They themselves said they didn't know that it was a problem of today, it's only having experienced it they understand that this is a problem happening right now. So Antibiotic Research UK has now set up a patient support programme and the idea is that we can provide that one-to-one -one confidential support to patients who are suffering or their families if they're concerned about a loved one suffering with a bacterial resistant infection. Who can be affected by bacterial resistant infections? The answer is any of us. It could be you, it could be me. And the patients I speak to tell me that they didn't realise it could be them either until it happened to them. Um, I think of a patient called Rachel, a young 16 year old, who had several urinary tract infections while still at school. And she ended up with sepsis and lost quite a bit of school time having to recover from that. So she emphasised at the time that she thought bacterial resistance was a problem in a third world country. But she then realised that no matter what care she took, it could have happened to her and it did happen to her. I think the demand for the patient support service is increasing for several reasons. One is, sadly, resistance is on the rise. There are more people suffering with resistant infections. I think secondly, people have been finding our charity and realising that we're one of the few places they can go for support and to have that help in finding accurate, trustworthy information about what they're suffering from. The biggest impact on people who are suffering with bacterial resistant infections is probably the fact that their whole lives can stop, but on the surface they look fine. They tell me that it's very difficult to explain to people how they're feeling because they can look fine on the surface, but underneath they feel really ill. And of course one of the things is it affects every aspect of their life. So the infection itself makes them feel physically very unwell. Sometimes they just can't get out of bed or out of the house. Often they cannot hold down a job because their health is so perilous. They often find that their mental health, not surprisingly, is severely affected by this. The thought of, will I ever get well from this infection? When is the next time it's going to happen? And I think what I've learned is most of those patients live with the words fear and dread. It's that dreading the infection kicking off again and it's the fear of will the antibiotics actually work this time or am I going to hit a place where there's no more treatment available for me. I think it's really important that we work with other charities for other conditions because we all understand that antibiotics underpin so many aspects of health and well-being and medicine and treatment. You know, anything from surgery like knee replacement, hip replacement through to cancer treatments and other kinds of serious heavy duty treatments, they are very reliant on antibiotics at the same time. So if we were to join forces with other charities, I'm sure that instead of all working in our silos, we would be a very powerful voice together to say we need to address this problem now. We need new antibiotics, we need new treatments, we need to reduce the problem of antibiotic resistance. And I think the voices together would be very powerful indeed. So for Antimicrobial Awareness Week this year, I'm going to be giving a few talks to different groups, talking about the patient perspective of living with an antibiotic resistant infection. Um, I'm also going to be working just in advance of that with uh, some community pharmacies to try and empower the pharmacists to know how to start these conversations with patients about antibiotic resistance. And the third thing that I'm going to be doing is working amongst people I know to raise awareness of antibiotic resistance in conversations, in chats that week. And of course, if anyone out there would like to assist in this, we've got lots on the website that you could get involved in as well, and we would love to help you to do that. So for Antibiotic Awareness Week, I'm going to be giving a few talks to some larger university groups, students, researchers, about what it feels like to live with resistant infection. And that will be telling some of the patient stories around that. I'm also going to be working with the, some of the community pharmacies around the UK to help them to begin those conversations with patients, to enable them to have that conversation about resistant infection. 
And then thirdly, I'm going to be working with some larger groups to try and have those conversations with people in the street, people that we meet in uh, our own lives, to say, did you know that this week is an important week because it could affect you or it could affect me in the future?